bold styles, colorful clothing, strange fashion, and amazing inventions. The 1980s was full of it. Well, not really. Not every invention of the 80s is as cool as it sounded to the people of that age. Here are 10 inventions of the 80s that received wows then and are discarded by us now. Number 10. Motorola Dynatac 8000X The first ever commercial mobile phone to ever hit the market, Motorola Dynatac 8000X had many features in it, some of which may strike you with wonders when I tell you about them. First of all, it had a great cool name, Motorola Dynatac 8000X. Cool, right? Second of all, it had the size and weight of a brick, which could be used as a dumbbell to build your biceps. Thirdly, it allowed people to communicate with each other without having to be tied to a desk. It was wireless. Fourthly, it had a massive call battery life of 30 minutes and could store up to 30 of your favorite contacts. The biggest downside was only one thing. It hit the market in 1983 with a whopping price tag of $4,000. You could only afford it after mortgaging your house. It was the greatest invention of that time. And now, well, if you had to replace your phone with a Motorola Dynatac 8000X, how would you feel? Number nine, floppy disks. What once was the most important data storage medium of the 1980s can now be used to play frisbee with kids. Well, yes, floppy disks were a type of data storage medium that originally appeared in the market in the 1970s and had a size of almost eight inches, capable of storing massive amounts of 80 kilobytes of data. Yep, you heard that right. The eight inch floppy disk could store 80 kilobytes of data. In the 80s, however, floppy disks got smaller in size, and their storage capacity grew even higher. In the mid-1980s, the size of the disk was 3.5 inches and was able to store a more respectable 1.44 megabytes. Quite a leap. Unfortunately, they were still vulnerable to magnets and heat and could easily be corrupted. So therefore, CD-ROM started to take over them, and now the once legendary floppy disks are now just a save icon in most software applications. But we should not forget all the sacrifices it went through. Number 8. Walkman Want to know the must-have item of the 1980s? It was the legendary Walkman. It was a device of portable music with headset and cassettes. This device allowed trendy people to hear music while they were on their walk, or treadmill, or exercising. It was a symbol of status and had several features. For example, it was cumbersome to use. The headset resembles Roboco's helmet. Each cassette of this device held an astonishing 60 minutes of music, and the only way to reach your favorite part of the cassette of music was to fast forward to it. It was originally produced in the 70s, but was launched in the US and UK in the early 80s. Of course, the people of the 80s have fond and frustrating memories with this device of portable music, and we respect that. Number seven, VHS VCR player. Time to pay homage to the best television recording solution of its time, who changed the dynamics of home entertainment after entering the market in the 1980s. Video Home System, or VHS, was the most practical solution for watching movies and TV recordings for the people of the 1980s. People loved it for many reasons. First of all, it was cheaper than all the earlier video recording devices. Secondly, it had a maximum recording length of 120 minutes, which was considered very much during that time, and its recording capabilities were way more superior than its competitors. Another big advantage it had in that time was the rental store. Rental stores had a huge collection of movies and porn, which means that the consumer would never run out of it. And now, it does not matter how bad we feel for those people for having such obsolete devices. It's a gospel truth that these devices radically changed their lifestyle. Number six, Commodore 64. Before telling you the extraordinary features of this PC, I'd like to tell you guys something about it. Commodore 64 was the highest selling PC of all time and reigned the market as the supreme leader of it by selling more than 17 million units. Now, are you interested in knowing what made it so different and desirable? I am more than willing to break the secrets to you. Its price was just $600, and for this price, it was a good computer to have. It had 1.023 megahertz of CPU, 64 kilobytes of RAM, 
and 16-bit of color graphics. It could also balance office productivity software and offered a wide range of games. With all these features, this machine was the most versatile PC of all previous versions and could be hooked easily to any set of home televisions. The C64 had its own class. Number 5. Nintendo Known as the Family Entertainment System, the NES in the UK, US and Canada, and Family Computer, or Famicom in Japan and the Philippines, this gadget of 1983 single-handedly saved the video game industry in the 80s. Before its launch, the video game industry was in shambles, and it was not known whether the people of the 80s would see a video game console or not, until Nintendo brought out its video game console. The NES, or the Famicom, was an 8-bit console that could easily be attached to a home television set or computer and was extremely well received by the public. Every kid in the 80s wanted this from Santa on Christmas Eve, and the popularity of this game system was unmatched. Number 4. Boombox Forget the glass-breaking speakers of ours, the hype and enthusiasm these speakers of the 80s got is unmatched. The perennial symbol of hip-hop music and a must-have of every party or picnic, the boombox was the coolest gadget of the 80s. It was often seen in parties, home gatherings, and some young people often carried it on their shoulders to the gatherings of their friends. The boombox was battery-operated and had two separate speakers of low and high frequency. It could be carried away easily. It was compulsive to have for music enthusiasts, artists, and cassette tape collectors. It essentially was a radio recorder and had a tape player that could record off the radio. The sound quality was pretty sketchy, but the Japanese versions were more innovative and had better technology and sound. Number 3. Polaroid 660 This entry is for photographers and camera enthusiasts. Want to know about the most marvelous technology of the 80s? It was a Polaroid 660. Polaroid instant cameras were originally launched in the market in the mid-1960s, and at that time, people were marveled by this technology, which allowed them to see the pictures they took just seconds after they were snapped, without waiting for someone else to develop them. Since then, Polaroid instant cameras were an expensive wonder of technology for photographic convenience. The Polaroid 660 was a faster and simpler way of sharing pictures instantly. It had various built-in features like flash, auto sonar focus, and was strongly built with a focal range of 2 feet. The best feature was the filters it applied to the pictures it took. Not just Instagram can apply filters. Polaroid did it decades ago. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by one of our subscribers. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it on over to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. The Seiko UC Today's subscriber pick of the day features a device that is considered the dawn of wearable computers. It is a Seiko UC, invented in 1984. Although quite limited in its functioning, the amazing invention of its time will ring several bells in your mind. It was a wristwatch with a more programmable calculator than a true PC, but then things changed when it was coupled with the UC2200 dock station. Seiko UC was unconventional in its making and working. It had a small thermal printer, a keyboard, a 4 kilobyte RAM, and a 26 kilobyte ROM that included Microsoft basic programming software. As it was built by a Japanese company, Seiko, therefore it included a Japanese to English translator. It also had some games in it, through which the watch could be turned into a portable PC. But as I said, it was limited in its functioning. The Japanese wristwatch had a premature end in the market, because it couldn't succeed as expected. Number 1. Casio C80 Calculator Watch this calculator watch was probably the most popular and admired invention of the 80s because of its usage, durability, and ergonomic design. Unlike other wristwatches, it was small and easy to use. It grew in popularity when Casio dropped its price, and it virtually replaced everything. A newspaper even featured this watch with a line by saying, quote, The watch that replaces everything. It freed people from computing and calculating things on computers. It was banned from the schools as it could serve as a cheating device, and rightfully so. Students could have used it during their math exams. 
Anyhow, it was an amazing invention, but just imagine, can this watch have any use in today's time? I think no. It was made for people of the 80s, and now is quite obsolete and ancient for us. Thank you for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos.